Hey folks, yeah, it's me. I'm coming to you from my car because I'm always on the road, always doing things, and that's just the way it is. So I record videos in my car. I wanted to give you a real quick overview of what this page is about and why me. And I have recorded a longer video and certainly the link to that is down below if you wanna go listen to my whole story. It's 40 minutes, it's a long video, but I wanted to give you a more condensed video about me and why you're here and why it's so important so i come from the metal industry i've been in it all my life i've been at since 16 in the auto shop i decided that i didn't care about the autos i cared i cared about well, i mean the, the auto shop was fun i mean we had a lot of fun we flipped manifolds on trucks and did all that stuff but um what i figured out was i liked welding melt and metal and I really thought that was cool. And I went to college and worked for a lot of people and really excelled in the industry. Started from the floor, worked my way up. And, you know, it was hands-on. It was hands-on. It was painting. It was grunt work. Getting called names that, you know, I won't repeat here. But that was the way the industry at the time. I don't know. I mean, it really isn't like that so much anymore. But that's okay. That's the way it was. But going through that built a thicker skin and uh, worked my way into management and learned a lot about people, managing people and um, taught at schools, taught welding, taught fabrication. And really the welding was the easy part. The fabrication was the part that was the challenge. Not so much for me, but for teaching other people. And all of that got me to a point of in a in m a mergers and acquisitions where i was looking at companies to acquire with investors and all that stuff and it showed me something really really pertinent to what we're talking about here that a lot of businesses struggle like the profit margins are not where they need to be so i went out and luckily had a mentor which is my dad um show me a system that he uses in his industry that is unbelievable and that's what we're talking about here it's called the profit accelerator and in this uh, page we talk about the simulator that'll show you how to um increase your profits in five minutes and why is it important to increase your profits ultimately it creates a more stable business a stable business creates stable communities which means stable families and god and all that stuff but what's really um important is that people see that you're leading them. Leading people takes a man with a man or a woman with a plan. People want to be led and they only follow those who have a plan. And that's you, I know that's you, but sometimes we need help. Sometimes we need help to refine that plan to be more profitable. And that's where we start. We start with profitability and then we get into things that affect pricing and how you price stuff. And I know you're always racing to the bottom because that's just the way the industry works. It's like they put out five, three quotes, you quote on one of them and you hopefully get it. But I've got ways that I've learned through trial and error to mitigate that, to make you unique in your local marketplace. And that's what it's about. It's about being unique, offering something nobody else offers. And there's countless super successful companies that do this we're just doing it on a smaller scale in our industry and for you in your local area um but seeing these companies and looking at them from an investor's perspective it was like okay we go to these companies and there's no systems there's no clear strategy on how to make this business run like a well-oiled machine um, the profits could be a lot better they're you know and looking at the balance sheet and looking at the balance uh, profit and loss statement there's costs in there that don't need to be there. And so what we can do is help you incrementally change those things by one, two, three, four percent, which is nothing. And all of that compounds to be something very serious at the end. And serious means a bigger number. Um, and it also, that's what the P&L and balance sheet does. It's, it's an identifier. It shows you why things are happening the way they are. Like, for example, your gross... Uh, margin shows you that your cost of goods sold maybe aren't the most efficient they could be because that shows you how efficient your shop is running or isn't running 
and we benchmark it against industry standards and see if you're there and then how can we tweak it, right? So that's what I learned. And this is a really condensed version, but ultimately it was, you know, it's about, I care about the industry because I've been in it all my life and I feel the duty to the people in the industry, the people that work on the floor because that's me and people that work in management because that was me and business owners because they raised me through my career and it's, I have a duty to them and there's a new generation coming which is um, me and then there's an older generation of the baby boomers that are retiring and we have to transition these companies from one to the next and to do that successfully especially now because the prices of everything I don't know if you saw the prices of meat lately it's ridiculous but the idea obviously is we need to create more profit but that ultimately creates you having a plan for your people because the culture these days is what's suffering because people want to be led for the day-to-day -day stuff but they also want to do for some, something bigger they want to be a part of something bigger and that is very true for the even younger generation coming in to the workplace they want to be a part of a bigger thing like made in America, made in Canada. Those are just examples. Or we're doing this for charity towards uh, sex trafficking or for God, or whatever. I mean, there's a, there's so many reasons that you can find, but it doesn't have to be those. It could be anything. It's got to align with what you believe and your people believe. And we go in and we talk to the culture or the lack of it. I mean, you always have a culture, but it's, you know, talking to the people in the business about what is it they believe in and figuring out what can they get behind. And then all of you coming together to figure out what is this thing that we're doing every day. We're not just making boxes or widgets or whatever, or welding stuff or mobile welding, uh, pipe welding. We're not just doing that. We're doing that, but we're not just doing that. We're doing more than that. So all of this is to say, I come from the industry. I love you people. And let me help you. I've helped others and I can help you. And if you go down to the bottom of this page, you're gonna see a headline highlighted in yellow and underneath there's an opt-in form. It's gonna take you to a simulator that'll show you really quickly. Well, there's a quick video of how to use the simulator and it'll talk to you but with the numbers and then you can see the numbers and then you'll have this like oh I have some freedom now I can see exactly where we're going and then we create a plan and there's a roadmap and then if you opt in there you get an email with a, a roadmap of exactly all the things we're gonna do and all this stuff is great on paper but what really is the value that I bring is that I have detailed instructions in the system that I use to bring you through all of those steps to increasing profits, increasing your culture, increasing it in a positive way, making it better, to improving systems, doing online marketing, all of the stuff that we need to do in business today. And also I've had tons of other ideas that uh, you know is about legacy preservation and uh, really seeing this industry explode. And I mean, the things that are happening right now in the world are crazy. Um, but we want to bring manufacturing back to North America. I mean, that is just, we have to, because that's what this country was built upon. This country and uh, this continent, right? So anyway, that is, of course, you can go re listen to my whole story. I won't bore you with all the details in this video, but the link below is there. Um, but that's my short video for today. And I just want to leave you with this. It's it's always about price. Like when you're going out and quoting on work, it's always about price until it's about something else. And that is another thing we really focus on after we get past all the ma the money and the pricing and the P and L's and balance sheet and stuff. And don't be overwhelmed by that because I'll help you with that. It's about creating a uniqueness in your local marketplace that makes you stand out, that makes you add value to your client's life because that's ultimately what it's about, making them shine in front of their clients. That's what your business is about. It's not about you, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just not. It's about your employees, it's about your clients. 
So that's it. Uh, opt in, you get a free, also a free bonus to this. To opt in is you get a link to, uh, I think it's 13 pages, maybe more than that, of how to re-engage, reactivate clients you already have. You already have a list, a huge list. And if you make 5% of a sale on that, you'll be doing well. You'll be doing much better. That'll increase your revenue. So that, that PDF will show you exactly how to do that. So that's it. That's, that's the opt-in. And that's what you get. You get to see the simulator work. You can hands-on do it yourself. And of course, I'll walk you through it. My phone number's on this page. And uh, to your success, seriously. I mean, I'm here for you. All right. All the best. Talk to you soon.